Hey guys, Engineer Geek here. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and how to take its readings and display that onto an LCD. In the first part of the video, I'm going to go over the parts list, so all the parts that you'll need for the project. Uh, I'll then go in the theory behind the part as to why I've chose, for example, the DHT11 instead of the DHT22. Uh, then I'll go over the wiring, uh, which you'll find is really simple with this type of project. So let's begin. Hey guys, so just a quick run through of the parts that you're going to need for this project. Uh, the most simple part that you're going to need is a breadboard. This can be picked up obviously with any basic kit. You will need a form of temperature humidity sensor. You can also use just a regular temperature sensor. Uh, I've went with the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. I'll discuss that a little bit more in the, in the future. The next component that you're going to need is uh, an LCD screen. Uh, with this one, I've got with an I2C 16x2 LCD screen. Uh, it's really good, really affordable. I'll leave links for all the items in the description. The last item that you're going to want to get, of course, is an Arduino or an Arduino clone. I've got the Elegoo Uno R3 because I really like this one. It's got labels up and down the sides, uh, so it makes, it makes wiring up a lot simpler. For the first part of the theory, I'll talk about the different types of temperature sensors that you can use and why I chose the DHT11. As you can see from the image on the screen, uh, the DHT22 is a much better sensor overall. However, with the DHT11 it came part of my sensor kit and that's the reason I used it. But as you can see, uh, the DHT22 can be used in, in a much more wide variety of applications with its larger temperature range and humidity range. Uh, it's also much more accurate on both, which in the long run is really useful. The main reason why I think this project is great for beginners is because it lets you get used to the I2C commands. So as you can see from the back of my LCD, uh, it's got a lot of pinouts and usually without the I2C add-on, uh, you'd have to wire this up individually, like you'd have to wire up each pin. Uh, whereas with the I2C, it converts all of those pins and it sends it basically just into two, so you've got your data and your clock. Like I said earlier, the wire is really simple for this type of project with it being I2C. So the first thing we wire up is our LCD. So if we look on the back, we can see if it focuses. Great, we've got ground, VCC, SDA and SCL. So that's our data and our clock and that's our ground and our voltage. So we simply wire them up to the Arduino. As you can see on our Arduino, we have an SCL and an SDA. That's where we connect the LCD to. As for the DHT, it's even simpler. We've got our negative, positive, and our signal line. Uh, so we simply connect our positive and negative to our ground and, and positive rail on our breadboard. And we connect our signal into A0, which is our analog input. 